coming down to Jim Smith. He takes it on the 10, 15, 20, 25, and he bolts it out to a 29-yard line. He is hit there by Dean Lord, the reserve center of USC. Michigan ball, first down. They'll be running the option series with some power on it. Leach is the quarterback. I don't know whether Huckleby will be starting at tailback. We'll check it. It is Lytle at tailback and Davis at fullback. Lytle can go both ways. Smith and Stevenson are the wide receivers. First down Michigan on their 29. Leach is a left-hander. This is a beer series and a straight option team. He keeps the ball. The pitch is to Lytle. 30, 35, and out to the 37. Running the pitch off the option on their first play. David Lewis, the outside linebacker, brought him down. A gain of eight. Kind of the way you draw it up. Got a good block by Gene Johnson, number 88 that time. The offensive line. Very adroit blocking line. Bill Dufit is the strong side tackle. 60 is Donnie Hewitt guard. Downing's the center, one of the best. Zarr is the right guard, and Ken is the right tackle. Well, they're flopping around. Second down, two. Lytle, oh, Lytle yeah. stop. At the 38, 38 and a half by Rod Martin, the weak side linebacker. Rod Lytle broke Tom Harmon's all-time season rushing record or career record and Johnson's season rushing record this year. He's the all-time ground gainer for many of the fine backs who romped up and down for Michigan. Third down, a yard to go on the 38-yard line of Michigan. Still in their eye formation. We're just underway, no score. That's Davis. He has a first down as he bucks his way to the 41. Russell Davis, very strong, a sophomore from Woodbridge, Virginia, who averaged six yards a carry. This Michigan offense, Don, was so potent this year, they all averaged about six yards a carry. That's the kind you like to have, Kurt, when you got that good offensive line and the quickness that both coaches have been talking about. You really can have a great running game. This guy doesn't have to throw that much. As Shem Beckler says, we throw when we want to, not when we have to. First down, Michigan on their 41. Davis. Oh, yeah. For the 46 on a quick opener. That's a triple option. The first man through is a fullback. Then the quarterback can keep. He has the option to run or pitch out to the trailing tailback. Three options on the play. Harold Steele, the middle guard, pulled Russell Davis down. On the 47-yard line of the Wolverines, second down four. We have uh, three minutes gone, no score. Michigan playing the type of ball they want right now, controlling it. They have averaged 38 points a game this year. Number one in the nation. Second down, four. Leach. There he, he is. He has a first down. He's to the fumble. Fumble at the end of the game, oh. and USC has it. You think. Let's see. Well, the fans say USC has it. Hold it. And the referee says the same thing. Kurt, he was a fumble. Leach does that. Clay Matthews on it, the linebacker. All right. There you see, they're all coming in. Grozier made the hit. And linebacker Clay Matthews of Kenilworth, Illinois, jumped on it. USC, first down on their own 42. And our first mistake of the game is charged to Michigan. Quarterback Vince Evans. Evans to Ricky Bell. Bell lugs it out and gets to the 46 of Michigan. And he's hit there by Greg Morton. Mike Robinson has replaced Randy Simran. That's a very important uh, move by USC. We'll tell you about it. Simran's their best receiver. He has a bad knee and he's not starting. Vince Evans is the quarterback, number eight. Dave Farmer, 15, the fullback. Ricky Bell, 42, the tailback. Gay is the tight end. Diggs and Robinson are the wide receiver. Second down, seven. Ricky Bell again. There's a hole for him. And he's ridden out of bounds on the USC 48-yard line. Dwight Hicks and Jerry Vogley, number 39, took him out. Third down and four for USC. Look at Ricky Bell's figures. Last year, top ground gainer in America, 1,800 yards, a little over. 
This year, injuries stopped him. But in one game, 347 yards in one game against Washington State. Almost unbelievable. Mm, 51 carries in that game. Third down and four. USC under 48. No score. First period. Evans on a rollout. Quick pass is complete to the tight end. Bill Gay, number 86. He has a first down. I think Michigan, uh, USC's plan is to go right at him inside the tackles. Michigan is very quick covering the outside and short control passing to control the ball. I think so too, Kurt, because really that's not much more dangerous than a run when you look at it. The chances they're going to have an interception is very slim. If it's incomplete, they come back and try it again. Again, short pass, he was open. 11.40 to go in the first period, no score. Trojan the first ball on the Michigan 45. Ricky Bell. Bell jammed at the 41 of Michigan. Hit there by John Anderson. The Wolverines flopped their players. Tedesco, Morton, Vogeli, and Bolden. The two linemen, a wide linebacker and a wide side halfback, all go on the open side of the field to cover the most ground. They figure they're the best and quickest defensive players. Simmern now has come in. The Tupu is also in at fullback, and Mike Robinson is out. Now, Simran has a bad a knee, but he was running very well in passing drills. He's an excellent receiver, number 18. That's Bell, 30, oh, yeah. 40. Bell getting to the 35 of Michigan. May have the first down, Ricky Bell. He's pulled down by Jerry Zuber, the Wolfman. Take a look. I think we have an overcommitment on the right side to the linebacker who came in. Couldn't quite pick it up on the screen, but you saw a good block to the outside, and the Wolfman does come in, make a move with that play. Really, I think, was designed to go in between those blocks, Kurt. He saw it closed up, bounced out to the outside, and picked up the first down. Ricky Bell is and, injured. They're uh, helping oh. him off. Uh, oh. That could be a blow to USC. But Bell had a bad ankle the last part of the year. They thought the rest would completely heal it. We'll have a quick report on him. And now we have a timeout on the officials. Bell had gained 16 yards in the first four times he carried the ball. So Ricky Bell's to the sideline. They'll attend him. And the freshman sensation, Charlie White. Charles White, number 12, will replace him at tailback. White has probably more speed, elusiveness, but doesn't have the power of Bell, nor the experience. First down, USC on the Michigan 35. Ten and a half minutes to go in the first period. No score. Roll out, Evans looking, flips it, he completes it. 28-yard line, Shelton Diggs caught the ball, number 26, the flanker from San Bernardino, California, covered by the linebacker, Vogley, and Jerry Zuber, the Wolfman. 28-yard line of Michigan, a seven-yard advance, second down and three. Ten minutes remaining in the first period. Both teams are sort of sparring each other, very cautiously coming up to the line of scrimmage. Taking their time, slot left formation. Good, quick opener. And bursting through is the Tupo. The fake to White, and they give it to Mosi to Tupo from Honolulu. He... You got this is that all set in the middle. You see a good block in the middle by Hickman, who comes across. Great open it up. And a Pat Howells in the middle. That quick handing is pretty good. Little nifty ball handling back here in the back. John Anderson was the guy that was in on a major thrust of stopping that run. They send Robinson left and Dix to the right. Simmerons out. Charles White's the tailback deep in the eye. Evans will throw it, maybe. Now he starts to run. He slips away. Can't find anybody. Stays on his feet. Uh, what a move. marvelous run. He made it all on his own. Vince Evans, who was a tailback in high school and also at L.A. City College before they turned him into a quarterback here. Got some good inside pressure there. He was trying to hit a quick pass as he's thrown a couple of times. That was Graves that was in the middle. That was kind of causing some problems. Dwight Hicks was the guy that comes, finally chases him down on the other side and puts it together. That was a good move, Kurt. That's that. I think we can see Rick Leach do something very similar to that before the day is over. Both good running quarterbacks. USC has had the ball eight plays in this drive. Slot right formation, second down three from the Michigan 13. And whistles go down. It looks like blurs of motion to me, Don. Let's quickly go down to Barbara Hunter and see what's the matter with Ricky Bell. 
Curtis, they say in football, apparently Ricky had his bell rung. He was hit in the head. They're now applying an ice pack to the back of his neck. It doesn't look as if it's something that's going to keep him out of the game, and we'll get back to you as we get more information. All right, Barbara, we're glad it's not his ankle. He was hobbled with that uh, bad ankle the last part of the season. You hate to see an outstanding player like Ricky Bell injured in this final game or without at least showing his wares to you fans across America. The motion penalty, false start, goes back to the 18-yard line in Michigan. It's second down eight. That's our first penalty of the game. Only one turnover. That was charged to Michigan. No score. It's Lock right. Evans to Charles White. White. Oh, big hole. Oh, ten. There he goes. Boy, he's an escape artist. He's just a freshman who gained over 700 yards and didn't see a lot of playing time. He'll be the next great tailback in USC history. Look, you see a start to the right, a little delayed motion. He's following Pat Howell out in front. Great pulling guard there. Big hole, Kurt. He does have the moves. Man, it sure helps when you got that much room to run in. Now he's a typical USC tailback running 100 and around 9, 5, 9, 6. And the Michigan man down. We're going to have a timeout here in the Rose Bowl. The score, Michigan nothing, USC nothing. Has, and what a team he is. has put out again. Charles White and Dave Farmer. Two tight ends. The two pulls in there as a blocking back. That's White. He gets to the five, maybe nudging over the five. And you can see how quick the Michigan team is as they move that time. Very quick off the mark. Looked like White might uh, get down to the two-yard line, but they quickly plugged him up. It's second down, five to go for a USC touchdown. And Calvin O'Neill, you see that number 96 in the middle of your screen getting the defensive signals from the sideline. But the coaches, Michigan State and USC, think he is one of the better linebackers in the college football today, Calvin O'Neill. The two for the fullback, Charles White the tailback. Second and five to go for a USC touchdown. Charles White is uh -oh, hit. Oh, look at him. And he's... Stop for a yard or a half yard loss. Great charge there by John Hennessy. Yes, sir. The short side defensive tackle. Number 71. Hey. Watch this defensive line get off the ball for Michigan. They're really finding this Hennessy you mentioned, Kurt Wright. Look at him come through there, number 71. And he's as Marvin Powell's blocking on him. He moved Marvin right back in the middle of that backfield. Anytime you can break up that flow, that timing that these guys work on so often, that's what gives the other guys a chance to come in and make the tackle. Third down, six to go for a USC touchdown. Now they go to a slot right formation. The Tuple coming in motion. Evans will throw. Got him. Look out. Uh, incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. No fumble. That's just an incomplete pass. Uh, we're going to call it back. A lot of jump in the game. Fourth though. down and six. Michigan thought they had the ball, the players and their fans, but they don't. The receiver was hit. As he was trying to catch the ball. Incomplete. Really very good coverage, Kurt. You see good protection there to begin with. The poo, uh, the poo, -poo comes out on the outside. And that's just really very alert. That's Bolin that's up there, number 22. Jim Bolin was right on his man. The ball was never caught. Kurt, that's a good comment for that Michigan defense. They're known as the offensive football, but that was a nice defensive stand they had. Yes, it was. It may be very important to him. Glenn Walker. We've hit 10 out of 19 field goals. This is a 23-yarder. It, it is up, and it is no good. Oh, he missed it, a 23-yarder. Well, Michigan held. The kick was to the left. They had a first and goal to go, and a very important goal line stand by the Michigan Wolverines. Time out. It is still USC nothing and Michigan nothing. Rob Lytle at tailback. Rick Leach, the quarterback. Michigan's ball first down in their own 20. Davis dropped at the 23 yard line and he's hit by Clay Matthews who calls the defensive signals the inside linebacker for USC number 60. He does call him and that might have something to do with why he always knows where to go because he's right there in the middle playing over a block reckless abandon I believe they call that throw your head out there and get it done Michigan moved the ball very well the first time they've had the ball Kurt this is the second possession for them starting off pretty deep in their own territory they have not thrown a pass yet second down seven from their 23 that's Lytle Lytle to 25 Lytle's to the 27 yard line hit again by Clay Matthews and the other outside linebacker David Lewis it's almost unbelievable a man can average seven yards every time he carries the ball 203 carries this year for Lytle 
thrown for three yards of losses and averaged seven yards a carry and scored 15 touchdowns. From Fremont, Ohio, the family owns a clothing store there. Don and I tried to work a wholesale deal with him yesterday, but couldn't do it. <laughs> I swapped stories about it. He said, I used to work in that clothing store myself. He sold the same kind of goods we did. Third down and two for Michigan. From their 28-yard line, no score. First period, five and a half to go. Look out. The pitch is to Lionel. First down and more. Oh, he nearly broke it up the tunnel that time. There's a narrow shaft on the field that Michigan seems to use their tailback when they turn up. And Johnny Robinson told on him, he said, that's what we've got to stop, that tunnel of about 10 yards wide where he turns up the field. Some backs have that ability to accelerate when that tunnel opens up that you're talking about. And Rob Lytle is, I am told, a legitimate 4-4 in the 40. And that's picking him up, putting him down. And he did see that little opening and right down the middle of the slot. Picked him up a big first down, Kurt. Jim Smith, the wing back. First down, Michigan on their 39. Yes, to Jim Smith on a reverse. Smith dancing away, comes up short of his 45. Smith probably, you know, if he played on a passing team, would be the renowned man in America receiving passes. Let's go down to report on Jerry Zuber from Barbara Hunter. Kurt, when Zuber left the field, he was on a stretcher. He looked as if he were immobile at that time. However, the trainer has told me that he was conscious at the time he was taken from the field. He did not go to a hospital. He simply went to the locker room for examination, and they've promised to keep in touch with us to let us know the status of his injury. All right, Barbara. Thank you. Second down, going, five. Barbara. Michigan on their 44-yard line. No score in this game. Running out of their eye formation. Leach to Davis, the first man, and he gets some extra yardage, fighting hard for it. To the 49 of Michigan, may have a first down, may not. I, close, Rod Martin tackled him, the senior outside linebacker, number 52. I tell you, you watch, uh, we're going to take some real looks today at the center. He is probably the forgotten man in football, the offensive center, but you're looking at a man today, Walt Downing, number 72 on Michigan, who USC says is the finest blocking center they've ever seen. And they, they said we marvel at him at our scouting films of taking a look at him. Could have been First Gerald, down. Could have been Gerald Ford they were talking about. He played the same yeah, position. Gerald Ford, he? probably President Ford today watching. He was a center. Could be President Downing someday. Who knows? First down, Michigan. They're on their 49-yard line. No score. USC's had one threat. They missed a 23-yard field goal. Rick Leach, sophomore. Gives it to... Well, that's throw uh, one. Fakes it. And now he's hit. He faked off to Davis. A great fake. And Mario Salato, number 59, charged through and nailed him. Salato's in there today. He may play a lot as a third linebacker. Well, you got to look at this. Matthews trying to read the play. Salato's the guy that comes through. Big Walt Underwood, 6'4", 220 is in there also. Took a little bit too long to throw, uh, Kurt, when he had the ball. He actually had a guy that was open downfield, but they don't throw that much. We talked about it earlier. Didn't have a deep enough drop, in my opinion, to get the ball off. Second down, 17 for Michigan. There's a draw play. And out to the 45-yard line is Russell Davis of Michigan, where Rod Martin yes, nailed sir. him there. That Rod did a good job, played the outside, saw the ball go to the inside, made a good move to come to the inside. Let's watch Downing do a job on his man. Watch him. Number 72. Stays in contact, feet moving, fends him off. That's what he's supposed to do. Excellent, excellent job. It's Joe Ship in there, number 82, moved into the tight end position. We may have the first pass for Michigan now. It is Leach dropping. Smith is open. Fires back, and he had a man crossing back. That's Russell Davis. Davis was coming back from the right side to the left sideline. He was open, but the ball was beyond him. All right, now, this is Smith. This is Jim Smith with the guy you're talking about, Kurt, that has the speed and the moves. They say it could be another Lynn Swan. But he is wide open downfield. The play was a design play, kind of a delay. He was going to Smith the end all the way, coming out of the backfield, trying to pick up the first down. Didn't see Smith at all downfield. John Anderson, the tight end, will punt. He's averaged 41 yards a kick. And he rushed on that one, and he slices it. And it's out of bounds inside the USC 30. 
They'll spot it out on the USC 28 yard line where the Trojans will take over with 221 remaining in the first period. It is still USC nothing Michigan nothing. On their 28 yard line Vince Evans. Senior quarterback from Greensboro North Carolina. He has him spread out to toss this to Charles White. White is contained. You can see how difficult it is to run outside on Michigan. Hey, Calvin O'Neill, number 96, drove him out of bounds. Hey. And O'Neill really read that play right. Here's O'Neill in the middle. You see him take. He watches, reads that pitch out, drops back. There's no pass. Sets his angle of pursuit. That's about as good as you can do. You stop him for a couple of yards gain on a situation like that. That's not bad at all. Remember when they used to call Gail Sayers magic? They yep. called Charles White sensation. Sensation. He's number 12, the tailback. And John Robinson, his coach, likens him to Terry Metcalf. Good quickness up the middle by the right There's a flag down to Tupu. Mosi to Tupu hitting up the middle. We have a flag down. We've had only one penalty so far. All right, while they're uh, talking about this penalty, Barbara, a later report on Ricky Bell? Yes, Kurt, it looks like bad news for SC right now because Ricky Bell is headed to the dressing room. I got another injury report from their staff. They say it was not a leg, it was not an ankle. He simply uh, had his bell rung, that he is not in very good condition, and they're taking him to the locker room, apparently, for the rest of this half. Wow. Well, Ricky Thank Bell, you, the leading ball carrier who John Robinson calls maybe the best all around football player he's ever seen. He was a fullback, then a tailback. He can run over you, he can block you. Uh, they're not taking any chances with a concussion and he is now being taken to the USC locker room. A 15 yard offensive holding penalty against USC has set them back to their 16 yard line. Roll out by Evans. He's being chased, he throws on the run. Jonathan Diggs has it and Diggs Goes down on his 24-yard line, right on top of him. That's one of those passes that you see a quarterback throw, and you say, "Man, get rid of it, get rid of it," because they're right behind you. And he did at the very last minute, and Diggs was actually wide open downfield. Ball was a little bit underthrown. He had to drop to his knees to pick it up. Here's the final score in the Cotton Bowl. Houston beat Maryland 30-21. Pittsburgh crushed Georgia today in the Sugar Bowl. They're undefeated, untied. They were voted number one coming in. We'll see what they do when it's all over. And the winner of this game matches up against them. The two coaches, first you saw Robinson, now Bo Shemba. Bo used to weigh 210. He's down to a very trim 180. He really did look good. Everybody to lose some weight. He looked very good yesterday. I was very pleased to see that. Third down and 14, USC under 24. Coming oh, yeah. through is Tatupu. Mosi Tatupo. Oh, Tatupu. Now, we're going to work with that one today. Tatupu. It's going to be very difficult for this man to have an outstanding game with you and I working on his name all day. But let's look at Mosi Tatupu coming through the middle with a great block in that middle there by Bethel, the uh, center, Powell, and Hickman. Those that front three guys, the center of the two guards, opened up for him. Well, he's a yard short, Don. Mosi is. Well, first down. He gave, oh, mostly gave him a heck, he gave him a heck of an effort, though, didn't he? Glenn Walker has had only 11 of his 54 kicks returned this year. He kicks very high, five-second hang time. Dwight Hicks and Jim Smith are back as safety men. There it is. Not too good and that time. And a fair catch called on the 35-yard line by Hicks. Michigan ball, first down. Tomorrow, a basketball doubleheader. NBC's second year of regular season college basketball. In association with TVS, tips off with a two game doubleheader. Grandstand on the air at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, followed by top rated Michigan. What an athletic department. The football team here in the Rose Bowl and the basketball team runner up last year to Indiana for the NCAA basketball title. They'll be playing South Carolina. And at 4 o'clock, it'll be UCLA and Houston from Poly Pavilion here in Los Angeles. That's on NBC tomorrow. First down, Michigan from their 35. Great give that time. To Russell Davis. Davis has stopped at his 39 yard line by David Lewis, the outside linebacker. One scoring threat, USC, on a 52 yard drive, marched to the six yard line of Michigan. Michigan stiffened, then USC tried a 23 yard field goal that was no good. Second down, six for the Wolverines. We're maybe going to have the gun before the ball is snapped. 
There it is, the end of the first period in the 63rd Rose Bowl game, and it is a scoreless first quarter. The yellow rose of Texas. And Don Meredith, Pasadena, California. Total offense, first period. Southern Cal, 81 yards. Michigan, 57. This is only Michigan's second appearance on natural grass this year, and they lost that game to Purdue. Second down, six. Michigan from their 39. A scoreless game. Leach auctions it out to Lytle. Uh, Lytle. Went out of bounds. He stepped out on the 45-yard line of Michigan. Six-yard at carry. And he's getting up slow. Gosh, dog, I hope he's not hurt. You know, that guy really does cover some ground in a hurry, Kurt. That thing looked like a very simple little option play. They tried to force Leach to pitch. He did. Lytle was out there, and he was turning the corner already. You see a quick fake in the middle of Davis. Came out. They're trying to play it off. That's Davis. Uh, Lewis is out there, number uh, 57. Clipped it out to Lytle, and he came out. It looks like he hurt himself right there when he fell. That was Harold Steele that came over from his middle guard position and knocked him out of bounds. Third down and a half yard to go for Michigan. Two tight ends are in now. Johnson and Smurgy. Lytle stays in. He's all right. Leach. Oh, oh my. He stopped. Oh. Boy, was he hit by Mario Salato, who just came in and has made another important tackle for USC, a junior from Manhattan that's, Beach, California. That's Rich Dimbler, number 92, that was also in there. So you got Dimbler, number 92, is Salato. You look at that play, they both just broke through. See, big number 92, Dimbler, Salato, nowhere to go, fourth down in a yard. John Anderson in punt formation. Dennis Thurman, the safety man, number seven for USC. They go after him. He booms it. Good kick. And it is in there, in there for the touchback. That's It'll really close. USC Look at ball. That ball. First down on their own 20. We're going to take a quick time out here from Pasadena to tell you it is still nothing, nothing. I'm a little concerned now, but I think SC will be all right. I'm a little concerned too, but it's because of that Trojan horse. Back up to you, Curtin Don. First down, USC. The pitch is to Charles White. White spinning to the 23. Flag is down. Incidentally, O.J. joined my main man Meredith in the club. You read about it? <laughs> By Men Watchers of America. 2,000 women voted Simpson, the only athlete in there, as holding against USC. And Don Meredith, and I mean there were some glamorous people, movie stars, leaders of the world, these women said these are the 10 best men to watch. Oh, what would that mean? But they, they had a bad scouting report on you. They said you had broad shoulders. I do. <laughs> you do? I do have broad shoulders. It's just narrow hips and, and thin they, legs and things that yeah. accentuate those. And they said you look like a teddy bear. It's nice to work with a teddy bear. That's right. A little teddy bear. Don't you believe it? Nine yard line. Where USC will put the ball in play of their own nine. A first down. Stopped yeah. their last drive, was it holding penalty? Now they're really set back, Kurt. 21 to go. Jerry Meters in as a linebacker. Charles White. And they contain him as they try to get outside continually. USC's done much better running inside the tackles against Michigan. Calvin O'Neill, Jim Pickens. Tackle Charles White. The ball is on the 16 yard line of USC. And the coach. Johnny Robinson, third down, 14. Chuck Taylor in his rookie year took a, as a head coach, took the Stanford team to the Rose Bowl. Johnny Robinson's done it in his rookie year here at USC. Third and 14. Oh, oh man, that's oh. Greg Morton. Greg Morton, who played such a tremendous game against Ohio State. Number 77. They brought Charles White down. Right now, USC is not getting any running room, and they're going to have to go into a punt formation. All right, let's see him make a move. He slipped inside. That's Otis Page, number 78, that's blocking him. He's looking inside charge. Greg Morton, 6'2", 225, senior. Let me correct myself, Don. Third down. Third down and 14. Evans on a roll out. Throws a safe pass, but it was nearly intercepted. That really was. Yeah, it was. supposed to be a safe pass. It was to Shelton Diggs, 
and it nearly popped into the hands of number 24, Bob Paddock, and the Michigan defensive unit gets a tremendous roar as they come off the field. They really contained USC that time. Well, they really did. There hasn't been a team that scored on Michigan since that upset to Purdue. The last two ball clubs, Illinois and Ohio State, got zip, so they've continued that through the first quarter here today. They look very strong. Len Walker, the oldest player on the field at the age of 24, used to be a guard in a prison, will punt. Jim Smith, the single safety man, back in his own territory. Look out! He nearly had a block. He got it up Smith there. calls for the fair catch on the 50-yard line. Michigan ball, first down. Smith averaged nearly 13 yards of return. They either kick high or away from him. And Mike Jolly went in there and nearly blocked that kick for Michigan. Next Sunday, John and I will be right back here in Pasadena, the Rose Bowl, Super Bowl 11. The Oakland Raiders, Ken Stabler, and the Minnesota Vikings with their quarterback, Fran Tarkenton. We'll have Grandstand special Super Bowl preview at 2.30 Eastern time, and Don and I will be on hand for all the action beginning at 3.30. Hope you'll be with us. Super Sunday. Lytle. Oh, he followed a great block by Mark Donahue. Left guard pulled out and led that one. Kind of an influence play. You see that flow of that play starts with the left. Lytle comes back up. Watch it. Davis goes first. Here's Donahue coming out number 60. Closes off on the inside. That's Eric Williams. He kind of ties up. Give this fellow some room. He's going to sure pick up some yardage. Lytle is the leading ball carrier in this game so far with 43 yards. First down, Michigan. 37-yard line of USC, no score, early in the second period. Leach. Uh-oh, out of bounds. bounds. Lytle had it last as it goes out of bounds. And they're going back to the short side that time on the option, Don. That was really well played defensively. That might have had something to do with it, Kurt, that they did go back to the short side. But you had Ron Bush, the defensive halfback, number 23, that came up and played it very well. You got some good pursuit from the, those middle guys. Jerry Jeter, Gary Jeter, number 79, was out there. Well played, and he held on to the ball. I don't think he would have picked up anything. This Lytle looks like he's a junior in high school. A very he really pink does. cheek, little freckled face. Uh, I think I didn't notice that. This is my first college game. Those guys are really young. Yeah. Well, you're getting a little older. I don't think so. Second down eight. Leach. Oh, he can run. He goes to the 30, and he's close to a first down at the USC 27. Brought down by Clay Matthews, the linebacker. Leach, the triple... Sports star in high school. He's an outfielder. Twice in one inning, he threw out runners trying to go from first to third, playing right field. That's not bad. Oh, that's he good. does have the arm. He sure. brought uh, brought a guy with him actually from Flint, Michigan. That tight end, number 88, Gene Johnson. They played together there in Flint. Two tight ends in, Smurgy and Johnson. Third down and a foot to go for USC. No score in the game. Leach. Lytle. Look at that pursuit right there. Oh, oh David Lewis. Down. Did he go forward enough to the 36? David Lewis was the man that took him. Now, this is a guy, six foot four, weighing 230 pounds. That's David Lewis, 57. Rob Lytle, we've told you, runs a 4440. Look at this big fella move. Way over from the other side of the field where he's playing outside linebacker. Lytle actually ran the 100-yard dash in 9, 6, or 7 in high school. He doesn't look big. He's 200 pounds, though. Here's the measurement. And they look like an inch short. Let's see. Put it down there. Look at that. How close can it be? <laughs> that is as close as I've ever seen. It can't be any closer. you got to go for it, though, haven't you, Kurt? I'd say so. Heck, yeah. Let's go. These guys are running. They've been running pretty well. They're going to go, it looks like. On the 26-yard line of USC, fourth down, an inch to go for the University of Michigan. 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. No score. Zara brings the play in from the bench. He's the right guard. Here come the Wolverines, and their fans up on their feet now. USC will be digging in with a near nine-man front. Watch him. Starts moving. You got a quarterback that can run. Man, they get on a rollout. Not that he'll do it this time, but he can really take off. Lytle. They pile up a 
again. It's close. He made it. He made it by inches. Pretty hard to stop them when you get any move off that offensive line, and they got some. They didn't get much. The defensive group. All right, they're going left behind Dupic. It's 250. Mark Donahue, 245. Here they come. They made some moves. Made a little bit of impression. Good block, actually, by Davis to lead back in there. Michigan backs through that very well. Lytle is known, I guess, as much for his blocking as he is for his running. Great, great blocker. That time he, of course, followed the block by Davis. This has been a rather a cautious uh, grinding drive by Michigan from their 50-yard line to the USC 26. No score. 11 minutes to play in the first half. Sophomore Rick Leach. Pitches out to Lytle. Lytle had to go back for the ball. It was nearly a dangerous pitch out. It was. Eric Williams and Ron Bush played that one well. Bush, the right cornerback, 23 coming up. That one could have been intercepted. Yeah, I don't think that was very, very good pitch. They got away with the middle era that time. Walt Underwood, number 95, was the guy that was giving Leach some trouble, but he pitched it a little bit late. They did complete it. Lytle made a good recovery to just hold on to the ball. Ricky Bell is injured. The late tuners in early in the game. Uh, hit in the head in the locker room. Bell and Lytle were second and third to Tommy Dorsett in the voting for the Heisman Trophy this year. The Trojans have been without Bell. Leach takes off at the 20. Out of bounds on the 19 of USC. That running quarterback, of course, puts that extra pressure on the secondary. Is that Lewis He's getting again. out of there. He's moving out. He made a good move, raised his arm to pass. The lineman, the defensive lineman, hesitated just a minute. He slipped between them. David Lewis came back from his linebacker drop. Put the tackle on him. You know, all right, here we go. You see a little quick fake to Lytle. Rolls out the outside. There's that little move. The guys jump. That was Gary Jeter. He faked a little bit. Matthews couldn't quite make it, but Lewis did. Third down and four for Michigan on the USC 19. Wolverines first scoring threat. The keep by Lytle. Or by Leach. Leach first down. And he kept the ball. Down the line of scrimmage. That looked like an old-fashioned split T formation play. Just turn up field with it, the quarterback. All right. Picks up the first down. All right. This is a reverse turn by Leach. You see him come into that ball. That's Ron Bush, number 23. The team up from his halfback position. First down. This Michigan team, Kurt, has played 106 games without being shut out. So you'd expect them to score some points today. They're getting close today. They led the nation in total offense. Best average per play. They rushed for 100 yards now in the first half. First man through gets the ball that time. Russell Davis, the fullback. Michigan averaged 39 points a game. Averaged 362 yards rushing. Number one in the country. 440 yard, eight yards total offense, number one. And they were number one in allowing the fewest points per game. I'd say they came well equipped. I'd say they have some credentials. They're on a 10 yard line of USC. Second down, seven. And it's their quickness that catches your eye. Very quick. Second down, seven. He's got it out, out there. To Lytle. He's got it. Lytle goes down to the six. Ron Bush, the right cornerback, had to take him. Hey, that was well played defensively, Kurt, because it looked like they really had it open. Dennis Thurman, number seven, was the guy that came up actually and with the finishing touches on him, but that thing really looked good. He had Davis out in front. Lytle had the ball. Davis threw his block. Good defensive pursuit by USC. There's the big blue band. Sarah brings the play in, the right guard. Ball now is on the six-yard line of the Trojans. Third down, three to go for Michigan. They're in a slot right formation. Stevenson and Smith the slot. The pitch to Lytle. Lytle back. Lytle at the goal line. He's at the goal line. Is he in? I don't know. What a great pitch. And what a great cutback he yeah. made. He just burst out of there. First and goal to go for Michigan. All right. 
as once Lytle, Rob Lytle, he gets the ball. He took the option away from the quarterback. Lytle mm. gets it, makes that cut you were talking about earlier. Good move. Came in there. That was Eric Williams, 55. Ricky Odom, 33. Stopped him just short of the goal line. First and goal to go, Michigan, on the USC one. They've had the ball 11 plays on this drive. Lytle is over. Rob Lytle. The 30, 60. Michigan are out here and they're letting you hear about it. Nothing fancy. Davis, 33 leads. Lytle saw a hole and jumped right through it. Good shot, guys. One thing about Lytle, he'll get you a yardage outside and inside. A powerful blocker, good runner, both ways at 200 pounds. Doesn't look it, but he is. Bob Wood will try for the point. He's hit 55 out of 56. Davidson holds for him, and the kick is blocked. The kick is blocked. And I think Walt Underwood blocked it. The right tackle of USC, number 95. So, timeout with the score. Michigan, six. USC, nothing. This new addition is at a crucial stage. If the right step is taken next, this owner will save money running his home and help conserve our country's natural gas supply. Insulation makes the difference. Like this pink Owen. Behold, he's injured. Here it is. Look at that. Great time hanging up there. That's him, Walt Underwood. We saw him go up, stick that big right hand up there and block the extra point. Really timed his jump, didn't he? Perfect. Kicking off. Bob Wood for Michigan. And the kick deep end zone. He'll be down by Charles White. USC ball. First down on their own 20 yard line. Coming up next from Miami, the Big Ten versus the Big Eight as the Ohio State Buckeyes, who were here last year in the Rose Bowl, are at the Orange Bowl tonight to meet the Golden Buffaloes of Colorado. That's the 43rd Orange Bowl game. Jim Simpson and John Brody standing by to report all the action. That starts right after the Rose Bowl, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Jim Backler said yesterday, he says, I told Woody before he went out, I said, you'll enjoy Miami. Woody's a nice resort town. <laughs> I said, I'm going to go to Pasadena myself. <laughs> Rob Lytle. Scored the touchdown of the game. Michigan's run off a 28 plays from scrimmage. USC 18. The Tupu's a fullback. Charles White the tailback. Ricky Bell's in the locker room with a concussion. Oh. That's White right, getting outside at the 20. Up to the 25, and he's hit by Calvin O'Neill, number 96, who really banged him down. John Hennessy also upset him. That Hennessy did have a good shot. Let's look at Calvin O'Neill on his side. Again, reading that block, going to the outside, playing off Marvin Powell's block, number 76. He went back in. Had some good help from Greg Martin. That Martin is the fine one. 225, 63, can really move. Senior. Akron, Ohio. Second down five for the Trojans. On their 25 yard line. White again. All right, White nice hole. There it is. He's up to the 40. As the freshman got moving that time, he was an outstanding high school player in this area last year. I think one of the reasons that we can see him go to the outside, Michigan's trying to close up the inside a little bit with those two nose guards they're bringing in there. You see him slip to the outside. Charlie White does have some moves that he Kurt. He changed directions in midair that time. He now has uh, 41 yards at just eight carries, Don. A freshman, five yards a carry in a Rose Bowl game. To make the squad as a freshman. He's doing a good job. He really is. I wonder what it means to the rest of the squad for Ricky Bell not to be there. Evans on a play action shoots it down. It's complete. the yard line is Shelton Diggs. Diggs curl back to him. Bogley and Paddock were trying to cover him. They're short of a first down. The 49 and a half yard line. We're going to pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. This is KGW TV, Channel 8 in Portland. There's a scoring drive from Michigan side. Went 50 yards after receiving a punt, calling a fair catch. Second down, a yard to go for USC. They're moving. All right.
right. Good move. Oh, down. Greg Charles Martin. White tripped up just as he started to go somewhere. Greg Morton got him around the ankles at the 48-yard line of Michigan. You see him over the sidelines, the defensive coordinators trying to figure out even better ways to stop USC. That time, Greg Morton made a tremendous play, Kurt, on reaction, just natural reaction. Bob, the play was pretty well set up, started to the left, came back to the right. Morton changed directions along with him and made a tackle. He did pick up a first down, though. That's right, first down. USC on to Michigan 48. Michigan ahead in the game, 6 0. We have five minutes to go in the first half. Roll out left by Evans. Squares away. Shoots it deep. The Dixon down. there. He got it. Gentleman Dix for the first down. Tackled by Hicks in second. He got in between the two safety men, and Evans fired a strike to him. Now, Kurt, when I look at, I think one of the big differences I see so far is the coverages in college as the pros to pro. I thought that ball could have been picked off that time. I saw Pickens 18 over there in a position. You'll see they're playing strictly a zone. They hit that slot. White Hicks 17. And Pickens 18 is coming in there. They're playing just deep, medium zones. First down, USC on the Michigan 18. Tatupu. Fullback rumbles over the 15. And down to the 12 and a half yard line, where he was tackled by Jim Pickens, the safety man, and Vogley, the linebacker. The Tupu is supposed to be a better blocker than Farmer. Farmer, the better runner. Put it on the 13-yard line. Second down, five. USC trailing 6 nothing Is now mounting a scoring threat here. Up they come. Their star tailbacks out. But freshman Charles White has done all right for him. And there he has the ball. White was hit by Vogeli, who climbed up in his back to slow his momentum down. He still, I think, nudged inside the 10. He did to the nine-yard line of Michigan. It'll be third coming. A yard to go for USC. Charles White weighs 180. He uh, is likened to Anthony Davis. He went to the same high school as Anthony Davis. AD used to be his hero. They still be. Well, they turn them out here, don't they? They do for a fact. Mike Garrett, Anthony Davis, O.J. Simpson, Ricky Bell, now this freshman Charles White. Don't forget Frank Gifford. No, he was a single wing tailback. A great one. Slasher, runner, speed, deceptive. Look at that. White, four-yard line. Charles White. Vogley stopped him, number 39. First and goal to go, Don. Well, they really do. They're just moving it along. They're picking up a little bit of the time. Give this White a lot of credit. This is a, not a big guy, as you mentioned. He just went inside that time, kept it going, hit him pretty hard. All right, they get two tight ends in the game, Gay and Burns. First down on the four, Kurt. They need to score a touchdown or they could be in trouble. If they hold them this time and force them into a field goal attempt, it's got to do something to the morale. Michigan held them earlier on the six-yard line in four tracks. Farmer's in a fullback. First down play coming up. White uh -huh. tripped up at the four as he started to cut off right tackle. Now that's the same play that happened on the first down last time USC was deep. They had the ball in the Michigan six. First play, no gain. That makes it second down, four to go for a USC touchdown. Six nothing Michigan, 2.30 to go in the first half. And USC's had this ball nine plays from scrimmage. Ron Simpkins is a linebacker, came in in that goal line defense for Michigan, slipped through there, made the tackle. Out of the eye formation. Tight end. In motion is Farmer. The pitch is to White. White is being contained. Oh, yeah. The little guy still uh, surged forward for a yard or two. You get the feeling, though, Kurt, USC, that front line has been pushing Michigan just a little bit. Now the snap of the ball, it seems that Michigan's getting that jump. They've got down here right close to the goal, as we said twice. Picked up two yards and two plays, and Michigan's really firing off that ball. Steve Grays went out of middle guard. Bob Lang came in. It's third down, two yards to go for a USC touchdown and the two-minute warning. No, the timeout has been charged to USC. Timeout. 140 to go in the first half. It's Michigan six, USC nothing. 
We'd all like to get more and pay less. That's why Dodge builds the lowest price pickups in America. Lower than Ford, lower than Chevy. Six and V8, manual or automatic transmission, Dodge beats them both. And you get a super tough truck. Both these Dodge pickups have a bigger standard payload than either Ford or Chevy. And when it comes to gas mileage, Dodge is real tough, too. Mileage, payload, price at $39.44. Dodge is what you want to get. Dodge, the lowest price pickups built in America. Well, the weather up here is tough on everything. Oh, you kind of feel good that you have a Die Hard. <laughs> uh, you need a good battery in the city of Anchorage. In Anchorage, they buy more Die Hards than any other battery. I think the Die Hard was probably designed with Anchorage in mind. Yeah, we depend on the Die Hard. Turns that motor over just fantastic. And so far, Sears Die Hard battery has been a good battery for me. The Die Hard, with extra power to start your car when most batteries won't. Turn the key over and it goes, you know that? Sold only at Sears. Yards rushing, just about even. Each team has run 28 plays of scrimmage. Michigan leading 6-0 on a 50-yard drive. They missed the extra point. USC has just called a timeout to stop the clock. They have a third down and two yards to go for a touchdown. Farmer in motion. White. He's short. He's to the one-yard line. Oh, it's going to be very interesting here. And another timeout coming up. This is charged to USC. They have one left in this half. Fourth down and one yard to go. A pretty good long yard, too. It's not right there inside. They've got to take it a whole yard. And we're going to be back with you when they line up on the goal line with the score. Six nothing Michigan. It's hard to go for a touchdown on fourth down. by Charlie White. Yes, he sir. dived over the line. He went through with the fake perfectly and Evan rolled out. Watch this. Well played. You've got him in there. Calvin O'Neill, 96, coming around. That good fake. They had him in the middle. This guy's got the speed. He outran, outran think, Bolden to the sideline. I think Charlie White's taking dramatics at USC. That's right. What a fake that was. An acting job by Charles White. There's Evans rolling out the quarterback for the score. Another angle for you. Look at White. Here's Evans. All right, here's the kick now. It is up, and the kick is good by Rob Kerr. by like Glenn Walker. Walker kicks it. That was an 80-yard drive by USC, and they have the lead with a minute 28 to go. They and threw a little bit. Their uh, All-American tailback, powerful Ricky Bell, who runs over people at 218. Charlie White carried the ball seven times in that drive, or eight times. And they took it in. Coming up next for Miami, it's the Big Ten versus the Big Eight as the Ohio State Buckeyes meet Colorado. So stay tuned for the Orange Bowl. 80 plays, 80 yards, 12 plays. Extra point walker scored by Evans. That's the story of the USC drive. Ricky Bell being out, Kurt, is not unlike Franco Harris and Rocky Blyer not playing last week against Oakland. But you see, USC, they just put another guy in there to do what Ricky Bell is supposed to be doing, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job of it. Yes, he is. We have a minute 28 to go in the half. Rob Kerr will kick off. Jim Smith, Lawrence Reed are deep, along with Rob Lytle. And the kick is coming to Reed, 20, up to the 30, down in the 31-yard line. And he's brought down there by number 50 for Southern Cal, Ed Gutierrez. So let's see what Michigan does now. They have a minute 23 left in this first half. Wolverine's ball on her own 31. Two powerhouse teams going at each other on the ground. Very little throwing in the game. Although one toss from Evans to Diggs set up the USC touchdown. Evans has attempted seven, completed five for 62 yards. They're in a slot left formation. Leach on a straight drop back this time. Not a screen working. Screen is no good. Do it too hard. Do it too hard at a short range, and he's trying to hit Davis the fullback. Jeter was in there rushing the quarterback, Leach. Watch Jeter on this charge. Yeah. Watch his initial move. This is Jeter. Gary Jeter comes to the outside, really just an overpowering. These guys, the offensive line, they don't 
they really don't pass block that much, and therefore their technique is not nearly as good as it is against the run. So you don't really expect great protection from these guys in a straight drop back sort of situation. His uncle Bob Jeter played out here in the Rose Bowl in 59 for Iowa and still holds the all time Rose Bowl record for most grounds gained. Yards gained in the game. He had an average it was unbelievable that day. Leach is tossed. Oh, Leach yeah. skipping out of bounds. Gene Johnson, the tight end. From Flint to Flint. There they are. Gene Johnson, sophomore, 226 foot four. Runs a 4740. Goodness alive where these guys keep coming from. That ball was right on target, too. He's got a great arm, this Leach. He really throws it hard. Baseball player and has somewhat like a baseball delivery, Kurt, more than a he really like drills it, follows through that wrist, great wrist action when he mm -hmm. throws. All right, now he has his team on the 43 of Michigan with a first down. One minute 14 to go in the half. USC leading seven to six. He drills that one. He throws high. it high. And it was nearly intercepted by Clint Strozier, the rover back, number 49. He didn't expect that ball. A shot right by him. He only had really one receiver in that pattern, and that was Smith coming across. There's a lot of USC jerseys back there. What do we got? We have a flag down. That's an ineligible man downfield. All right, headache. Happy New Year's. They were all in bed early last night. Sure. We all were, weren't we? Happy New Year's. Back to Bucks County, Franklin County, all those neat places, wherever they are. 15 yard penalty. That hurts. You were explaining to me, Kurt, that there are no automatic first downs and holding in, in college football. Now we have a few changes. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Hey, that is pretty. <laughs> That's that, the Rose Bowl. That's where we are. By some strange coincidence. Hmm. First down from the Michigan 27. Hitting straight ahead. Russell Davis, the fullback. Michigan seen now with that penalty to change his style instead of going for broke to maybe stay on the ground back in their own territory. I think you're Less right. Less than a minute to go. I think you're right. Of course, USC might want to call timeout right now. They've got them pretty well backed up. Not really that bad, but we got another second half coming. There's 46 seconds to go in the first half. Second down to bunch. Second down on the 32. Second and 21 for Michigan. Seven to six, USC leading. Look at Jeter. Whoops, he pushed him out. There it is, going to Stevenson. No good. Stevenson covered by Dennis Thurman, the safety man, who has an eye and a nose for the ball. He's all over the field. There's Jeter again going after Leach. Well, they pushed Jeter by him. You see this, but Jeter's number 79. Let's watch the hit that, he, that Leach actually gets from Rich Dimmler. No, it's not Dimmler. Yeah, there he is, number 92. And he caught him right on the seven, didn't he? Mm. Zeroed in. Third down, 21 to go for Michigan. Time remaining, 29 seconds in the first half. Michigan trailing by a point. Davis turning upfield, short of the 40 of Michigan. USC has one timeout left, and they've just called it. They have stopped the clock, 21 seconds to go in the first half. Would imagine they just try to put a lot of pressure on the on the kicker, would you, Kurt? Like rush everybody, or do you think they'll try to set up the return? They've got good return guys. You don't know. They call time out. They're going to try to take advantage of this time. I would say they put some pressure on them. We'll watch. There's Leach, the quarterback. That's Bo Schembechler in the dark uh, or the blue blazer, chomping on that gum furiously. We told you he had a heart attack out here. And he had a hard bypass operation last May. A vigorous, courageous man who gave his doctor, his surgeon, a pep talk before surgery. Did Are he? you emotionally and physically ready to go in this operation? <laughs> and he said, yes, I have. I did six of these yesterday. Right down to the <laughs> wire, huh? Right down to the wire. Well, in 89 games under old Bo, his team has scored on double figures, so he is had something. He gets them fired up some way, doesn't he? He has an amazing record. He's lost only 10 games in eight years at Michigan. All right, the punt. It's a low one. They didn't and have nobody back, back there. They were going after him. 
And this one will be dead on the USC six yard line where the Trojans will take over with just 11 seconds to go and they're not going to be messing around down there deep in their own territory. A 54 yard punt by John Anderson. First down USC. Michigan scored first a 50 yard drive. Rob Lytle took it in a yard out seven minutes eight seconds to play in the half. USC after a touchback on the kickoff came back to go 80 yards Vince Evans rolling out to his left a yard after a clever fake and an acting job by tailback Charlie White diving over the middle of the line. Evans just scooted around untouched for the score. Their kick was good and a seven to six USC. Evans falls on it. Clock moving away. Well, they're down at the right ends of the field. Both of them will go to their locker room. And there it is. That's the end of the first half. The 63rd Rose Bowl game in Pasadena, California. The score is USC 7 and Michigan 6. Unbelievable. This Aspen sedan has a look that's very European. With so much comfort, it's a pleasure to be in. How rare for a small car to ride with a big car feeling. And most unbelievable of all, Aspen's price is so appealing. With automatic transmission, more than $300 less than the Ford Granada. Unbelievable. See the unbelievable Aspen at your Dodge dealers today. Oh, hello, Bill. I thought you usually closed at this hour. Not when I promised a job for 8 a.m. That's how I run my business. Your business? Yep. Almost all Texaco retailers are independent businessmen like me. Texaco supplies and helps me a lot, but I set my hours, my prices. It's my business. Anything you say, boss. Texaco, over 30,000 independent businessmen working to keep your trust. We'll have halftime activities in just a moment. Right now, we pause for these messages from your local station. A big double feature mystery movie. First, Mac escapes death, but he's not safe. Someone tried to kill him, and he'll try again. Rock Hudson is McMillan. Then a fortune in diamonds and attempted murder spelled danger for the chief medical examiner. Jack Klugman is Quincy. McMillan, then Quincy. Three hours of action Sunday, starting at 8, 7 central time. Second half of the Rose Bowl is underway. Ooh. Kicked away from White. It's coming to Jamerson. Two yards. Took it in there out to the 10. And it'll be poor field uh -huh. position for USC. Very meter on the tackle. First down. USC on their 15 yard line. White still a tailback. Ricky Bell was hit in the back of the head. I think he's probably had a slight concussion. It's precautionary. They don't bring him back in. They took him in for observation. Dave Farmer's a fullback. Charles White, the freshman, the tailback. And Vince Evans playing an excellent quarterback today. Spins and gives it off to the fullback, Farmer. Farmer's to his 18-yard line, a three-yard gain. Second down, seven. Vince Evans. Last year, couldn't have thrown the ball up in the stands at the Rose Bowl. They say hit only 38% of his passes. And one project that John Robinson had was to improve Evans and the USC passing game, and he's done that. Evans has hit over 50% this year and has done it in the Rose Bowl game. Second down, seven for USC. On their 18. Now they're into a double wing setup. Evans will throw to the sideline to go. Sheldon Diggs. Stop on his 24 and up there on him was Pickens and also Dwight Hicks the safety man. All right, we'll take a look here. That's Hickman. That's Hennessy. Look at Hennessy. Making a move on the other side. It's Donnie Hickman number 61 is the guy that's blocking on him and he's really been doing a good job all day keeping these guys out. His dad was a uh, uh, lumberjack in Arizona he used to go out with his dad help him cut trees he's doing a little cutting down today he is for a fact third down and two Charles White outside he goes Good move. Makes his move first down for the freshman 
who will be quite a story in USC football history if he continues to run the way he is here today. Kurt, take a look. Got good blocking on the other side of you. Got Mel, uh, Marvin Powell that tackle. Look at this move right here that he puts on Jim Bolden. Came in there, they call that the limp leg. See it, then you don't. Throw it out there, let them take a shot at it, then take it back. Use that move particularly well. SC's ball first down under 36. They're ahead seven to six early in the third period. Evans in that short rollout. Shoots it down the middle. Oh, yeah. Complete. He drilled that one to Mike Robinson, who was Randy Simmerin's replacement. Mike Robinson, a senior from Richmond, California. Randy Simran did not have a bad knee. Robinson would not be in the lineup. He caught only six passes all year. But how this Evans is on target today. Yeah, that one was really well thrown, Kurt. I, I thought he actually was going to try a sideline over here again to the right. He had him open, uh, throwing to Diggs, but he came back into the middle, drilled it right between those linebackers, and found an opening. Vince six, Evans. Six out of eight for Vince Evans. Now they go back in the eye after the motion. Evans pitched to White. White cuts it at the 45 and down to the 42 of Michigan. Brought down by Jerry Meter, weak side linebacker, and Dwight Hicks, the safety man. And let's check freshman Charles White now. He's moving along in ground gaining. He's up in the 70s. That's kind of a reverse. You see a runner stop and pick up the guy that just tackled him. That means he must be on top of the game. Second down four. USC has moved from their 15 yard line after the second half kickoff. White got away, fumbles the oh, ball. He's on it. It stayed there. <laughs> Just saved it. There was uh, Greg Morton and Dwight Hicks ready to pounce on it. And that jarred loose. That Dwight Hicks is really big coming up from that safety and really making some moves. This is a heck of a break for. USC because he did just knock him loose and the ball just seemed to stick right on the turf. As that blast it that's number 17 in your program number one in your heart Dwight Hicks as he just popped him and it fell right there and he fell on it. Hicks has eight tackles so far four solos and four assists. Third down and five. Oh good draft. move look at Throw that. Ball, get Love it. Of it to the 40. Sort of the first down, big charge here by Tom Sebron. The de defensive end nearly got him. All and right. he threw it with Sebron hanging on to him. There he is, Kurt. You see, he's got that one leg. He grabs the right leg. Evan somehow maintains his balance. Look at that. And then throws the ball. Vince, nice job, fella. The two who caught it. They're going for it on the 39 of Michigan. Fourth down and a short yard to go. I don't they care. Have both fullbacks in, both tight ends in. I love it. USC crowd roaring. I love it. Go do it, folks. We need to come Michigan out here. on their feet down below us to see if their team can hold. Long signal count. Oh, you got him, man. Go. They nearly had him. Now a flag oh, is now. Maybe too much time. They were trying to get him to pull offside. Couldn't get him off. I wish they quit tricking me that way. When I see them line up on that fourth down thing, I say, I like this. They're going to go. They're going to go. Then they got them trick plays when they're trying to pull in other folks off sides. What, uh, what coordination by the Michigan line? Hopping on and off, on and off. And yet still refusing to jump off. But how about the composure of that USC offensive line? These guys uh, jumping up in front of your face. Now, they're all moving. For some reason, look at that. Right in the middle, they're trying to get it going. Is that Graves in there? So it will be a penalty. Puts them back in a little bit more of a punting position. Fourth and six. The punter is Glenn Walker, who hangs them high. We have Dwight Hicks and Jim Smith, punt returners. The near corner, fair catch call by Smith on his 16-yard line. He's been contained today. He hasn't had much of a chance uh, catching any passes or running back kicks. Had the one reverse. He picked up about seven on. Kirk. That's all. Timeout with a score. USC 7 and Michigan 6. Coming up on at 16, Ricky Bell will not play the rest of the game. I think he's come out in street clothes. I, I would imagine he might have a slight concussion or a head injury. Look at that move from the back. Come on. Oh, wow. Dive, Michigan diving and I think has it. Rod Martin, I think it was, Kurt, that came in from that backside linebacker. 
All right, you see Leach go down the line, but he doesn't see from his backside Rod Martin, number 52, and he has played a great game today. He's really been everywhere. It causes a fumble. You see a kick back out there. Underwood had a shot at it, didn't make it in time. Bill Dufek, number 73, the tackle alertly went back to recover. And Eric Williams, the linebacker, is on the ground right now. So Ricky Bell injured very early in the game. Uh, in fact, uh, looking at his uh, figures, he carried the ball only four times and then was hit in the back of the head or the neck and was taken out and will not be back in. And neither will Zuber, the Wolfman for Michigan. He was injured in the first half. Here's our telecopter. While we have time here, I want to say that uh, all of us here in the NBC booth and in the sports department covering this game want to send along our condolences to the family of Phil Islin, the owner of the New York Jets. Absolutely. The guy that had the funeral yesterday, and from what I understand, Carl Linham, in fact, called me, the director of sports of NBC, and said that Howard Cosell gave one of the most moving eulogies that he'd ever heard, and we want to compliment uh, Howard for his words, and there's not many people better with words than he is. I'll uh, tell you right I can't now. think of anybody. But I he, is, he was he a close was, friend of uh, Mr. Islin's, too. He was a very close friend, and I say had a beautiful eulogy. There's a toss. Out of, bound. out of bound. To Jim Smith. Smith was covered there by Ricky Odom, the cornerback. May not mean much, but it does. But I, you saw Leach come out. He threw the ball. When he's running to his left, the left left-handed pass, that's supposed to be the easiest way to throw it. He had that ball way back up behind his elbow, and he drilled that thing, really zipped it out there. He had to get himself in total position to do it. A lot of quarterbacks come out, and they develop kind of a flick toss with their wrist, but they don't have to use their entire body or that follow-through motion. That time, he tried to use all of it, waited a little bit long, and the receiver wound up outside. They have a third and 18, Don. Right now, they're in bad shape here in the third quarter, 9.50 to go. Leach and saying pitch pitching it. out a fumble. Oh. USC has it. Wait a minute, they may not, Kurt. They they didn't didn't lose it. That was David Lewis, the linebacker, jumping on it. Maybe it squirted away from him. It may have. I don't know who the Michigan player is, but that ball, that play, that play was totally contained by USC defense. And it is USC ball, I believe. Well, they still can't get him apart down there. And up for the ball, they do have it. USC. Now watch it. A costly turnover. Lytle may have been hurt on that play. Let's look at it again. It's Lytle as the ball was pinched through. The pitch really didn't have any shot of going at all. You see David Lewis is 57 that came in there. But then Leach came back to try to get it away from him, and I believe that he lost that battle with David Lewis. Let's give Lewis the fumble recovery. First down for USC on what, the eight? Eight yard line. What That's a second Michigan turnover. And a biggie. USC has not made a mistake. They have not turned the ball over. They're leading seven to six. First and goal to go. White and Farmer behind Vince Evans. Evans to White. Fumble again. Fumble again. And yeah, there's Michigan on the ball. Yes, sir. Michigan has it. John Hennessy, I think, recovered. That was in there. Man. Or Greg Morton. Either one of the tackles down on it. Looks like a bad handoff. Let's see if we can pick it up. Never got control of it. Hit his knee. Stepped up in the middle. I don't know who got it, man. I'm not going to try to tell you. Somebody got it. Could have been Tedesco when the ball popped up in the air. Let's see. We'll take another look at it. All right. It's White. You see the ball. He never had, Charlie White never had possession of it. When he tried to grab it, the, his knee knocked it off. Let's see it again. Let's give it to Michigan. I think it's Morton. All right. Give it to Morton. First down, Michigan on the nine. And they come out to the 11. That was a good shot again in there. I'll tell you, this Rich Demler has been playing some good football today. He's not even a regular starter. He's been coming in playing an awful lot. Number 92 for USC. Again, he was in there on that one for about a yard gain. Eight yard line. USC had the first and goal. Lost it. Now Michigan's back again. John Robinson and his quarterback, Ben Seven. Lytle picked up two yards in the last carry. Has 61 yards in the game. And Michigan's been in the hole here in the third period. 
Leach, trap gets away, comes back to the 10. Ah. And just lowered his head and went to the 16. That's <laughs> all he could do. I tell you, that's really just instinctive running. He, he was boxed in over there. That obviously was not a design play. Hope he's not limping. We've got to have a guy down over there on the outside. Looks like that is Dimmler. Well, we're just talking about Ron Dimmler. Let's see if we can see what happened to him. Playing that nose guard. Firing right off into Walt Downing. That outstanding center that we've been talking about. There's his play. Let's see if we can figure out how he got hurt. So he got hit in the left rib. Must have. Wow. He's by Mark Donahue. Well, he's up and moving off, so. Uh, All right. Yeah, I hope so. Replacing with Harold Steele. Leach did a good job, Kurt, picking up what he picked up. He had, they had him really pretty well contained in that backfield, made some good moves instinctively by Gullivan to get back up for where he did. Remember, the Rose, the, uh, Rose Bowl here will be followed by the Orange Bowl, Ohio State and Colorado. They're standing by in Miami. John Brody and Mr. Simpson, right? They're going to be down there. third Orange Bowl Classic. Third down and three. 16-yard line of Michigan. Leach keeps the ball to the 19. I don't know whether he has the first down or not. He tried to stretch out there for it. While they untangle, we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. KGW-TV, Channel 8, Portland. Kurt Gowdy and Don Meredith here again in Pasadena. They're going to measure. USC took the opening kickoff of the second half on the 15-yard line. They went to the Michigan 44. They punted. Michigan had the ball. Fumbled it away on their eight-yard line. USC recovered, fumbled on the next play. Michigan took over in their nine. And now the first down measurement is short, and Michigan will be going into a punt formation. John Anderson to do the kicking. Dennis Thurman, the junior from Santa Monica, California, is a safety man for USC. These are two high-scoring teams, both going over 30 points a game this year. Yeah, we have a low-scoring Rose Bowl, 7-6. to six. Good athletes, Kurt. Both Credit sides. To the defense. Just good athletes. They've got them on both teams, playing good defense, good football. Anderson waiting for that snap. Low. Driving kick. Thurman's back. Fields it on his 36. Good coverage. And he's downed on his 36-yard line. Down there covering. Michigan had three men down, and we'll be back in a minute here in the Rose Bowl with a score. USC 7 and Michigan 6. Kenny Randall's in as a wide receiver, number 28, along with Shelton Diggs. Vince Evans, big story today for USC, completing 8 out of 10 passes for 89 yards. Look out, the rush is on him. He throws it deep, deep, deep. He's covered and out of bounds. And down place. there was number 26, Diggs, and he was smothered by Jim Pickens. And there was a big rush by Jerry Meter, the weak side linebacker who was blitzing. They had it pretty well figured out. I think he did a good job really just to get that ball off. He threw it way away. Quite a story on this man. Yes, sir. Terry, this boy has Hopkins disease and has been undergoing, Mike Carey, undergoing chemotherapy. He had his spleen removed, and it's been a great human interest story. He cheers the other fellows up. Farmer, Dave Farmer, straight ahead. I think USC felt they could run inside their tackles better than they've been able to today, Kurt, and talking to the coaches and looking at their coaching staff. They really felt they could, they, of course, they were counting on using a Ricky Bell up the middle, who's more of that power kind of runner, but they've gone to another kind of offense today with his absence. We noticed Leach and Jim Smith and the offensive coach there. They've got to cook something up, Michigan, and break a play here. They're being very well contained by USC in the second half. Third down and seven for the Trojans from their 39. Using that rollout again. He's wide open. There he is. Wide open. And he yes, has sir. it out of bounds. Oh, Mike nice. Robinson, beautiful crossing pattern. The flow to the right, the pass yeah. back to the left. 
Kurt, that there he was. That was super. Now, what he did, what Robinson did, he took off like he's going to the inside. You'll see this play start to the right. You're right. It's a move to the right side of that offensive line. Robinson, in turn, comes in, runs across the middle, and comes back out to the outside, and he was really wide open. Area setting up Evans. Got a ball right there, flip. That looked like he was throwing by five yards, did it? Yeah, just a little flip out oh, there. Those natural on athletes on. make me sick. First down, Charles White pounds inside the 35 to the 31. White, as you know, has fumbled a couple of times, lost one of them. The other one he didn't, but he has a penchant for fumbling. I'm a little concerned about that. Can you teach a man not to fumble? Oh, no, I don't, know. I I don't so. think so. I don't know. I just give him some balls. He can run as well as he's been running today. Let him fumble a few times. Yeah, have some fumble recovery drills during the week. Second down, five. USC leading seven to six. Six eighteen to go in the third period. Whoa, boy, there is a hit. Was that Steve Graves? I couldn't catch it. Who was it? That was Steve Graves. Oh, man. Or was it? Or was that? The Tupu was hit there. That could have been Bob or Paddock, Paddock that came Paddock. out there. I think that was the Wolfman. Bob Paddock, number 50, uh, 24. Graves is 54. But he really did it. The Wolfman, I guess, Kurt, is like that rover. He's supposed to go. He, they released where him. Where he wants to they, go. And, yeah, he's supposed to diagnose those plays and go where he is. The rest of the guys more or less play an area or a position. Try to free up the Wolfman, they call him. That time he was there. Third and four for USC from the Michigan 30. Evans, pass complete. I don't think they've got the first down. That was Katupu who came out of the backfield. That's and he didn't look at that marker on the far side. He should have been a yard or two deeper. You're right. Back. You're right. They've been gambling on his fourth down plays. And seven says no measurement. <laughs> Fourth and one. It's on the 27 yard line of Michigan. USC in possession. And they've used up most of the time here in the third period. They've had the ball. Up they come now. Fourth down one. And they're in. They're not in the eye now. Unless they shift into it. What if they'll go off tackle? Seems like they do. White scrambling. Charlie White on a quick hitter has the first down at the Michigan 25. And he's hit there by Calvin O'Neill, number 96, and Jerry Meter. Well, this is the kind of play where everybody's got to do it right. And look at them fire out. Here they come. That's Donnie Hickman, number 61, and he's right off of Donnie's rear end there as he just tries to make that first down and got just enough. Charlie White, the freshman, has 78 yards and 20 carries. Nearly four yards a shot. Evans with a rollout pattern again. Look out. Chase and he's mother this time. And in on him is Tedesco, Don Tedesco from Riverside, Illinois, number 99. That Evans. puts the ball back in the 35-yard line. That's a 10-yard loss for USC. Second down, 20. Dom Tedesco brings us some great credentials into this ball game. We haven't heard that much of him today, but you saw that time. Another tremendous athlete, 6'4", about 215, 220, from Riverside, Illinois. Great pro prospect, I'm told. Only a junior at Michigan. The official attendance, 106,182. Second down, 20. USC in the lead. 7 to 6, controlling the clock and the ball in the third period. Back he comes. 35. Spins. Good move. Goes to the 30. Over the 30 to the 28. Good power. Greg Morton wrapped him up from behind, helped by Dom Tedesco. You see a quarterback move like that, you uh, I have a tendency to believe that it's almost like a called quarterback draw. I don't really think he was that serious about throwing, or if he was, he had some hesitation in his mind when they called that play because he really went back. Maybe he did take a quick look, and if he did, he decided that's not where it was and came back up trying to find his way in the middle. Picked up about, what, seven? Right. Mission defending. USC had the ball on their 36 after a punt. They have now marched it to Michigan's 28, and they've had the ball nine plays on this drive. Third down and three. Flips the ball, still gets it away. Got it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, yeah, he lost it out of bounds as he got out there. 
That's the tight end, Bill Gay, who's known more for his blocking than his pass receiving. Well, Evans slips down a little bit this time. He's trying to come back with like a half roll to get over to the right side. They set their blocks up on the right side. You see that he slips a little bit, comes back up, throws late. Got a got a pretty good lick in there that time by Tedesco again. He says, hey, oh, I'm so sorry. Why not throw it a little bit earlier? Body English in the prone position. That's it. Field goal attempt now from the 35, 45 yard. Kick is up. No. And it is way short and to the left. Glenn Walker missed the field goal. Michigan held. They'll have a first down in their 20 yard line. And our score with a timeout, USC 7, Michigan 6. Hey, let's see how some owners of America's oil companies live. These Texaco stockholders, plus over two million other Americans, invest in America's oil industry. In six companies alone, over half are women. Almost half are retired. Twelve million more invest through organizations like mutual funds. Who owns America's oil companies? Over 14 million Americans trusting in companies like Texaco. We're working to keep that trust. Sir, here are the 90-page reports for the Binkley Brothers meeting. Two copies. Do you know how many Binkley Brothers there are? Joe, I need this fast. The Xerox 9200 duplicating system can automatically duplicate and assemble a limitless number of reports at an amazing two pages a second. A report for every Binkley and a Binkley for every report. Good morning, boys. Good morning, Mother. You need one more copy. I just shot, uh, saw a shot of Bob Hope there. He's going to have an all-star comedy spectacular on NBC January 21st. Ann Margaret, Mac Davis, Olivia Newton, John, and Sammy Davis Jr. Play back in. Five-yard game. Michigan has had terrible field position in this third period. This is their third possession. They started at the nine-yard line, the 16-yard line, and the 20-yard line. They have not been in USC territory in this half. And now they're changing their backfield. They're going to put Lytle at fullback and a speedster sophomore, Harlan Huckleby, who runs 109.5 at tailback, number 25. Second and five for Michigan. Look at this out. Uh -oh. Leach, Good first move. down at the 30, 35, to the 36. The sophomore, Rick Leach, of Flint, Michigan. And a safety man, Dennis Thurman, brought him down. I think... All right, let's take another look. You see he faked the Lytle up the middle, came back to the outside. He's got Underwood going outside. This is what I think both Jim Beckler and Phoenix really counting on his quarterback to do. He's a young quarterback, great running guy, has another back in that backfield. That time he picked up his first down, made his cuts wisely. Jim Smith flanks to the right. We haven't seen much of him handling the ball in the game. Plays this period Southern Cal 18, Michigan only eight. Running on a first down play from scrimmage. Well, Lytle. No way, nowhere to go. No, sir. Dive tackle play. Lytle maybe had a yard on it. Mario Salata, number 59, John Robinson. It's Charlie That's White. Charlie White, he's freshman tailback. Big job today filling in for Ricky Bell, who ran the ball only four times and had to leave the field. And is now in street clothes and has wrapped up his USC career. On a sad note for him. Yeah, because he's really a competitor, really wanted to play this ball game. We were talking to him the day before yesterday, and he said, I want to be in the Rose Bowl. Second down, eight. Leach shoots it down the sideline to Stevenson. Oh, yeah, he good. Out of bounds. That skip did it. So good. Kurt Stevenson, a Californian I think from La Jolla, California, walk in on the Michigan campus of the freshman was out of bounds, they say. He was knocked out by Thurman. And Dennis Thurman from Santa Monica is the guy that knocked this one loose. He was wide open over there. And look at Thurman, number seven, plants that shoulder and just pops it loose. Didn't hold on to it, Kurt. That would have been his second catch of the season. You got to be kidding. Really? That's right. They don't. And he's a split end. Son of a gun. Jim Smith has caught 24 for a 28-yard average per catch. I think they're more interested in winning than they are having fun. They don't they're, throw any more than that. They're shadowing Smith today. He's flanked to the near side now. Third down and eight for Michigan. Leach, look, look out. out. He's under the gun. Look out. 
away. Oh, oh he got the throw move. to Smith. Look out. 50, 45. This got out of bounds. All right. Fun. They finally got it to Jim Smith. See how much fun that is to watch play like that? Now you call that kind of play in a huddle. You say, I'm going to get back here and take about five steps to my right, and I'm going to take four steps to my left. You cats hold them off as long as you can. I'm going to duck Jeter as he comes in, slide off the other side. I'm going to get rid of Underwood. I'm going to throw it out to you, Smith, on the outside, and do with it what you can, and there it is. There he is. I watched Smith what he was doing. He's Now he sees that the scramble is on. He has the ball. 28 yards a catch this year, six touchdowns. He'll be a number one draft choice, a wide receiver in the pros with his athlete. Look out. Moving there. We had a uh, false start on Michigan. I think it was Mike Ken. Legal procedure, Mike Ken. Very few penalties in the game. That'll put the ball back on the USC 47. This is the first time that we've had Michigan and USC territory in this half. USC ahead, 7-6. to six. We're in the last minute of the play of the third period. All right, Michigan breaks out again. There are fans who travel here from Ann Arbor. Points east have not had a lot to cheer about in this second half. It's been rather quiet. Oh, he's got him open. Look out. Eight, five, oh, yeah. 40 fell over his own man and goes down at the 39-yard line. And out in front was Mark Donahue inadvertently got in his way. Well, you know, you, it's like you, you do best what you do most often, somebody said. But I, that time, Kurt, again, you got a left-handed quarterback rolling to his right. I think he had run on his mind more than pass because if he was really trying to work and read a defensive secondary and see where his receivers are, he had a couple of guys, one guy that was wide open and another guy that was moving in that direction. But I think he had really, I'm going to run, and he picked up two yards. Vinny Van Dyke is in at right tackle, replacing Walt Underwood for USC. Second down. we we'll break that with Huckleby. Harlan Huckleby. To a near first down at the Michigan USC 32, where he was nailed by David Lewis of Ricky Odom. That's David That's Lewis. First carry for the speedster, Huckleby. And that's the end of the third quarter here in the 1977 Rose Bowl game with a score, USC 7 and Michigan 6. The American Eagle, Goodyear's symbol for its all-American kind of radial tire. Goodyear is committed to product innovation. We introduced rayon cord in tires. We created the polyglass tire and the polysteel radial. And now the American Eagle with belts of Flex 10 cord instead of steel. Flex 10 is made from a flexible man-made aramid fiber that's pound for pound stronger than steel. The tire for America, the American Eagle, the tire. This is the 77 Plymouth Arrow. Me and my arrow, taking the high road. Take a look at the price. Where Love at first sight. Under $3,300, excluding taxes and destination charges. Me and my arrow. You and your arrow. You could go a long way together. 39 miles per gallon highway, 26 city. You and Plymouth Arrow. You were made for each other. Kurt Gowdy and Don Meredith as we move you into the fourth period. A tight defensive game. USC leading 7-6. And earlier today, Pittsburgh very impressively blew Georgia out 27-3. Tony Dorsett, a 200-yard game. And Houston upended Maryland, giving them their first defeat of the season, 30-21. to 21. This is a third down and one play as we open the fourth quarter for Michigan. Third and one. Leach. No way. Oh, that was a little mess up, it looked yeah. like to me. An off time on the handoff. Right. I think you're right, Kurt. Lytle. He usually gets to the line of scrimmage and more, but that time he didn't have a chance. Well, you had Jeter, you had Williams, Matthews, Rod Martin, those linebackers. Harold Steele held up the middle pretty well. They had him in a good situation. They never really got that play off, and I think you're right. It was not really that slick coming out of the backfield. They didn't have it going. They lost the yard. They have a fourth down and two. They're trailing by a point. Zara brings a play in from the Michigan bench. 
Appleby's the tailback. That roll out. Take Lytle's that kid right there and roll. Pull back. Everybody up on their feet now. There he you is go. rolling out. He started to pass. He didn't make he it. Did it. Oh, wow. Look at Teeter. Yes, sir. He had uh, Smith open downfield. I think he was going to throw to him then change his mind. He's running Gary to the right. Teeter brought him down. He's got a guy that's injured down the field. I'm, I'm afraid that's David Lewis, and he has really played a super ball game. That was Lewis and Jeter that made that move on Leach. Again, that was a situation where he had to left any quarterback rolling right, and you've got something you want to tell me, Kurt. What is it? I want to tell you it's a timeout here with All the right. score. USC 7 and Michigan 6. This home and 40 million others all over the country have something in common. They all depend on natural gas for heat. That's half the homes in America depending on gas. America is cooking with gas, too. Over 30 million families depend on natural gas to cook their meals. So do most restaurants. That's a lot of hungry people depending on gas. America's industry needs gas. Natural gas provides by far the largest share of energy for industry. That means much of our economy depends on gas. Millions of workers depend on natural gas for their jobs, for supporting their families. Actually, in one way or another, we all depend on gas. Getting more gas can't wait any longer. On Once an Eagle, Sam's marriage is further threatened and Courtney Massingale's wife returns. Once an Eagle, Thursday night at 10, 9 Central and Mountain. Michigan with their first offensive punch of the second half had a third and one on SC's 33 and wound up losing the ball over to SC. First down Trojans on their 36. They held. White stopped at his 30. Seven yard line, Charles White, the freshman. Calvin O'Neill, number 96, made 10 unassisted, well, actually had 10 tackles for the game. Look at that, playing off a nice block, or attempted block by Donnie Hickman, coming back right there in the middle. He had some good help from up front, but right there in the position was Calvin O'Neill from that linebacker out of Saginaw, Michigan. Second down, nine, slot right. The spread formation, the pitch. Got some help. White. Got some help. White at the 40 and driven out of bounds at the 44 of SC. A seven yard gain. Third down, two. I don't know. There's a long way to go in this game yet. 13 28. I don't know who'll be the most valuable player, but I'll tell you right now, I think the leader might be Vince Evans, the USC quarterback. Basketball doubleheader tomorrow. Grandstand will be on the air at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Then we have Michigan. This is a quick football team they have. They got a very quick basketball team. Ricky Green, Bill Hubbard against South Carolina. And at 4 o'clock, UCLA. Losers of only one game this year against Houston here in L.A. College basketball doubleheader on NBC tomorrow. Third down. Short three. Evan guns it out there. Did he hang on to that one? I don't know, but I think he did. Boy, if he did, that's some catch. <laughs> I'm telling he you. He did. <laughs> Gildan Diggs. <laughs> Boy, that is a miracle catch by Sheldon Dick. I don't think he had a choice, Kurt. He slipped down as he made his cut. Ball's a little bit behind him. It hits him in the head, and he's lying on the ground and gathers it in. Look at the ball, still up in the air. Oh, he's, whoops, left leg up means I got it. Oh, that's funny. Jim Bolin, number 22, is the guy they're defending. First down for USC on the Michigan 45-yard line. Six receptions for Sheldon Diggs in this game. Evans hands it off. White breaks through and comes to the 42-yard line of Michigan, brought down by Bob Paddock, who's playing the Wolfman in place of the injured Jerry Zuber. Three-yard gain, second and seven. Nope. Evans on passing has been outstanding. Vince Evans, who could complete only 30-some percent of his passes last year in the Rose Bowl game today, has completed 11 out of 15 for 128 yards. And he scored the only USC touchdown on a one-yard rollout. Second down, seven. Seven to six. USC ahead of Michigan early in the fourth period. Again for the pass. 
Wide open right there. Jeez. Oh, he hit, he hit Diggs right in the chest that time. He gets those easy Nelson ones. Knows it. Diggs is Too upset. Easy. Diggs said, hey, throw me a bad one. Yeah, throw me one low it behind me. Throw me a Don Meredith ball. All right, let's take a look at this line. This young fellow we're looking at right there, Brad Buddy. I, I can't believe that that's Ed Buddy's kid, but it really is. And Ed Buddy, the great Kansas City offensive lineman, that's his boy as a freshman out here. He's getting some playing time today. Brad Buddy, only 6'6", 250. Just a baby. Just a baby. Third down and seven. USC on the Michigan 42. Got the him pass. again. Dig has it. Sheldon Diggs pinched against the sideline. First down. The seventh catch for Diggs in the game. He's the fella in 75 that caught the two-point play that beat Ohio State as uh, Pat Hayden threw to Jim or to uh, John McKay's son for the touchdown. One point behind. Instead of going for the tie, they went for the two points. And Dick's got a low pass. I like down this. USC. I like to see him come back to him right after he dropped one. He threw him another one. He caught that one. They've been a combination today, Evans and Diggs. This is Charles White. Nowhere to go. For a loss. That's John Anderson in there, number 86. There's Ricky Bell, looking on. Carried the ball four times early in the first period. Got to be safe. Was injured. Uh, probably a head injury and was not allowed to come back on the field again for his own protection. Here's a fellow that gained 1,800 yards last year, his junior year to lead the nation, 1,400 this year, hobbled by injuries at the end of the season, and bowed out of USC, one of the finest running backs of all time. I imagine we'll see him play again, don't you, Kurt? Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll be in some city in America next year. Yeah, that's right. Maybe Tampa Bay. Charles Bly, oh, he take it on. By Dwight Hicks. Hicks came Furious up tackle by Hicks who came up from the safety spot. Michigan's getting desperate now. They want the ball. They need it. They're only a point behind. But they haven't been able to break open or make the big play against USC today. Let's see if we can see where Hicks comes from. He's a safety there. But they, in college ball, these safeties, they really have got to be great tacklers, good athletes. You saw him roaming around up in there. Got a little help from Calvin O'Neill, the linebacker, but mainly it was Hicks who came in from his safety position to put that pressure. Freshman Charles White has a net of 84 yards. This is third down and 15 for USC. Evans got him again. Out. There he is. He's yeah. got it. First down. Sheldon Dix again. Dix jammed against the sideline. Evans the Dix is doing it. Well, they're really giving him a lot of room over there, Kurt. It's not anything fancy. Evans rose a little bit to his left. You see him working on Jim Pickens, and Pickens is giving him a lot of move. Plus, he slipped down a little bit, but that time the ball was right on target. He's there. First down. Sheldon Diggs, you're doing good, Sheldon. Eight, look at that. Eight receptions, 99 yards for him. First down, USC in the Michigan 21. Pullback. Tatupu. Musi Tatupu. Mosi, Musi, Mosi, Mosi, Mosi. Tupu. You know, Kurt, with Ricky Bell not playing today, he had a chance to break the all-time Pac-8 rushing record, I believe. And he had 50-some uh, yards. 50-something yards. And, of course, you know, you see a guy that's had a great career like that. I told him yesterday, I said, five games he broke Kipper's record. But uh, he really was after a really big one there, and he's not going to make it. Second down, six. Southern Cal on Michigan, 17. Ten minutes to go. USC ahead by one point, seven to six. Cut back. Oh. oh, met at the 15. Charles White was slammed there. John Anderson's right in the middle of it, Kurt. Gary yes. Meter, number 46. Two-yard gain, third down four, Southern Cal. Michigan went to the USC 33. They had a third and one and couldn't get a first down out of it. And USC is taking the ball from their 36 and marched right down to the Michigan 15. Mostly on passes from Vince Evans to his wide receiver, Sheldon Diggs. Look at Evans, 15 out of 18. <laughs> they still don't have Diggs covered over there at the top of your screen. Now he'll turn around. He looks for him. Turn around. He'll have to throw the ball or eat it. Toss it. Intercepted by him. Sick 
kickoff today. Defensively, a bad pass that time by yep. Vince Evans. He should have held on to it. All right. Vince got a little pressure from the inside. You'll see a little move in there on the inside by Greg Martin, 77. He's the guy that's chasing him. Got great speed, Martin has. Got a good hit also by Hennessy, 71. He looks, he's just intercepted, trying to get back in the action. Yeah, let's give him an assist. That uh, Morton, by the way, has one of the outstanding plant collections in his apartment. I collect plants myself. And he talks to his children. I do too. First down, Michigan, on their own 22. Now they have a chance. Huckleby, but they're not breaking that USC defense. There's Calvin O'Neill. Outstanding today. All-American linebacker and showed why with his play here in the Rose Bowl. He's gone from sideline to sideline. Made a lot of tackles, assists, and he just intercepted a key pass. Second down eight. Wolverines ball under 24. They're trailing seven to six. Eight and a half minutes to play. Lytle the fullback. Huck will be the tailback behind quarterback Rick Leach. In motion is Jim Smith. Leach to Huckabee. Huckabee uh, run around at the 25-yard uh -huh. line. Walter Underwood, the right tackle, got him. He's number 95, and he blocked the extra point that right now is the difference in this game. Michigan scored first. Underwood blocked the point. Good reaction by uh, Underwood, Kurt. I thought he it was one of those like reverse spins that Lytle goes the other way. Underwood played his position well, moved out next. And you see right here on your screen, we got coming up next that Orange Bowl down there in Miami with old Jim Simpson and John Brody, and they're going to tell it to you like it is, and it'll be coming up right after this ball game. Ohio State and Colorado, third down seven. Michigan from their 25. Leach under the gun. He's hit there by Rod Martin again. Yes, sir. Martin, a weak side linebacker nailed him. Kurt. Four linebackers they have. Lewis, Williams, Matthews, and Martin have all played exceptional football today. This 52, Rod Martin has been everywhere. Came in from an outside blitz. Leach rolled to his right. Martin came in from the offside, was not picked up. Big loss, fourth down, mission's going to punt. Anderson's done an outstanding job of punting. 46 yards, average of four kicks. Thurman backpedaling. Kirk catches it on his 42-yard line, where USC will put the ball in play. Another good punt. And we'll be back here in Pasadena as you look at Ricky Bell injured for the score, USC 7, Michigan 6. There's a challenge in the sunrise, he can hear the highway call. City roads and top roads, he can take them all. The Goodyear American Eagle, a strong, smooth-riding radio with Flex 10 cord belts instead of steel. Flex 10 is made from a flexible, man-made arm and fiber that's pound for pound stronger than steel. A tire for America. Now available, the new T-Bar Volari. Free and fresh and frankly, just as beautifully comfortable as it looks. Plymouth Volari, the small car with the accent on comfort. Catch all the action as the Minnesota Vikings take on the Oakland Raiders in Super Bowl XI next Sunday, beginning at 3.30 Eastern Time on NBC. Remember the Senior Bowl, January 8th, Mobile, Alabama, 1 o'clock, New York time. You'll see the top seniors in America. And uh, most of them go on into the pro ranks, and you'll be watching them for years to come, and they're out of the Senior Bowl next Saturday from Mobile. USC's ball. And that's the freshman, Charles White. Here's Zuber. He was injured in the second period. He's not returned. The Wolfman, the Michigan attack. And Ricky Bell was injured early in the first period and has been out of the game. Well, that's really a lonely looking figure right there, Jerry. I'm really sorry. 
hate to see something like that happen. He's uh, had a great, great season at Michigan. Curtin, you hate to see it end like that. Right. Southern Cal has almost doubled the offense on Michigan today. We'll tell you about it in a minute. The USC defense that has done the story. Second down, six. Pitches to White. White cuts it back at the 50. Just short of a first down. To the Michigan 49-yard line. Listen to this. Michigan has averaged total offense a game this year, 462 yards. Today, they have made only 181 yards. They're under 200 for the game. Southern Cal has 360 yards. They have doubled the total output of Michigan. Well, these guys have had, they've really gotten in a dogfight and they really knew it was coming. I think Schembeck learned. Robinson both gave the other teams a great deal of credit because they're good football teams. We have Sheldon Diggs going for a Rose Bowl record today, by the way. Third down and a foot to go. To give it to White. White squirming. He may have it. He may have. I didn't think he was going to. Pat Richter, formerly of Wisconsin, played in that wild, the wildest Rose Bowl game of all. Ended in the darkness. USC beating Wisconsin. And uh, Richter caught 11 passes in that game. He went on with the Redskins to have a brilliant career. Today, Sheldon Dick, an unheralded wide receiver of USC, has caught nine passes, two short of the Rose Bowl record. First down, USC, they're on the Michigan, 47. We have six minutes to go, and USC, there's Diggs. Big day for him. White has 98 yards, by the way, the freshman. There are three stories, right? Four stories in this game. Flags go down. Oh, that was tough. The Tupu running with the ball. The four stories are the USC defense, Vince Evans, a quarterback with a marvelous passing exhibition, a freshman, a kid, 18 years old, Charles White stepping in and running for almost 100 yards in place of Ricky Bell, and Sheldon Dix catching nine passes. And Michigan playing well with a lot of fire, but just missing the big play all day. Just a little bit. And one week from tomorrow, we'll be right back here, Cowboy, for the grand. This is the granddaddy. Is that what you tell me? And the Godfather comes up a week from tomorrow. The we'll Super talk Bowl. We'll about that in a minute. All right. First down and 15 for USC. There Look goes the Tupu. The Tupu. It was knocked off balance. Jerry Meter. Uh, Pickens sort of hit him around the ankles on the way. I think this is the time of the game, Kurt, when you see that we acknowledge going in that both coaches acknowledge that the size or weight difference between the two ball clubs was in favor of USC. This is now the fourth quarter, and we're really winding down five minutes and a little bit more to go. You see that big offensive line come off, and they're just pushing them back a little bit more than they did early in the game. Second down, five for USC on the Michigan 42. White flag down. White goes to the 37 and 38. I thought I saw a flag drop. I did. Yep. I think if this play is not called back, I give Charlie White 100 yards. 103 yards for Charles White. There's the flag. Looks like it's going to be yellow holding. roll. I think it's going to be holding against holding USC. Against USC. That's a biggie. 15 yards, right, Kurt? Right. All right. Now they're back. Second and a whole bunch. You might see Diggs come back into it again. He's the guy that's been open. They've really been giving a great deal of room. I don't think he really came in as a speedster, but for some reason, the defensive coverage of Michigan has allowed Diggs to roam fairly free in that, at least that middle zone or that short zone. He's been open. Holding USC. Well, they'll have a second down. And 20. Coming up next for Miami. Ohio State against Colorado in the 43rd Orange Bowl. Stay tuned to NBC right after this Rose Bowl for the Orange Bowl from Miami. Second down 20. This score is 7 to 6 USC. Six, seven. Fires it deep. Got it. receiver who played very little today because of a knee injury but he caught that one now Simran caught it but the guy you got to really give some credit look at this move by Evans he comes back sets up gets a big rush by number 54 Steve Graves in the middle steps the other side and wings it in there right over the head of that linebacker defensive back and they got him to tackle 
Well, there's a hero on that USC bench. His name has not been mentioned. That we'll tell you about in a minute. First down, USC on the Michigan 30. That's White. White is to the 26 of Michigan. There's a man over there named Paul Hackett. He's an assistant coach, and he was hired especially to come down here and coach Vince Evans into being a better passer. He coached uh, Zeke Ratoski, number one draft pick, who went with Atlanta, and he coached Joe Roth last year as a junior. And there that's Hackett right there, and he came down here and did the yellow shirt, has done quite a job. Vince Evans has put on a fantastic passing show today in this Rose Bowl. They're on the 27-yard line. 101 yards for Charlie oh, White. Gotta go down. down. He saw Hackett on the sideline giving some sort of gyrations, but what that really Those means... Those are signals, he's called. They are signals, and they send in, which I thought was kind of interesting, Kurt, not the play to Vince Evans. They send in a choice. They send in two plays, and they say, you make up your mind which one you want. So... Uh, Coaches, of course, coordinate with the press box and so forth. Goes down, you see him talking to the head coach. Uh, but they do send the play. They send two plays in every time they, they have an offensive formation. So Evans picks from one of those two. And they say if he doesn't like it, he still has the... Uh, he, he, he can change it. He can call something else. But they give him two suggestions. Take a pick. This is a legal procedure penalty against Southern Cal. I'd like to uh, get a count on the number of plays in the second half. It's been USC mountainous in favor of yeah. USC. They have just controlled the ball the whole half. Legal procedure on both clubs. Offsetting. Well, the ball winds up on the 27-yard line of Michigan. There's that signal. A second down and seven. <laughs> There's a play. Johnny Robinson with the yellow pants, the red sweater, his first year. Coached with the Oakland Raiders last year. Said he learned more about the passing game there than any place he's ever been. And his great friend, John Madden, is looking on, rooting for him today, I know. And off. A quick hitter. Mosey to Tupu, Hawaiian. Oh, he had a charge that time. Samoan, isn't he? He's from Samoa. I thought this was going to be a pitch out. You see that Evans did a reverse spin, handed the ball to Patupu, followed some good blocks, a good spin right there. They had Calvin O'Neill pretty well taken care of that time. Brought it down, first down on the seven. USC has clearly dominated the second half. They have outgained Michigan total offense two to one. First and goal to go. Getting dark here in Pasadena. Charles White, the freshman. There White, yeah. going! The freshman is in. Charles White, who filled in for Ricky Bell earlier in the game, oh. is over for the score. And what a game this freshman has played here. All right, let's look at the move that he makes. Quick pitch out to the outside. Look at that offensive line pulling. Good move out. They took care. Got the move, done. Oh, yeah, he has the move. They, they take care of Hennessy in the middle. Watch this move right here. Zip. Step right into the middle. He'll be the next great tailback at USC. He's already established that today. Uh, Bob Paddock, the Wolfman, had a shot at him right before the goal line. He gave him a little move and slid right on in. 13 to 6, a big point here for Walker now. And the kick is up. The kick is good. USC pats the lead. I'm out. It is USC 14 and Michigan 6. And Michigan is a powerful ball control team. It just hasn't had the ball much in the second half. Kick is coming to Smith at the 7. Smith at the 20. Breaks it through. Comes up to the 30, down to the 33-yard line. First down, Michigan now desperate. The 33, that last drive, 58 yards, 8 plays. White went 7 yards for the score. Short of the all-time Rose Bowl record. Now Rick Leach has to go to work. They're back to Davis at fullback, Lytle at tailback. Leach going, here's a man open. Oh, a tremendous diving oh, grab. Smith. That's the kind of athlete he is when they get the ball to him. Jim Smith, All-American flanker, plays on a non-passing team. All right, he's bumped right there at the line. 
by Ron Bush. Ron comes back. He got number 33, Ricky Odom, chasing him. Tried to make an interception off the side. Smith held his concentration, kept the ball in the middle. 32-yard pass play. Michigan knocking again. Now let's see what they do. Wait. Wide open. And it is complete. It's good. Oh, well, that's close. Four-yard line to Gene Johnson at tight end. Here's Michigan storming back. They're not known as a passing team, and they're having to play catch up with a passing game. First down on the USC 24. Wait. Rolls around. And it's incomplete to Jim Smith. Smith really had couldn't. already run out of bounds. There was a lot of pressure put on Rick Leach that time. Uh, Clay Matthews came in from the backside, the linebacker. I'll tell you the linebackers we talk about Lewis, Martin, Matthews, they're all doing it. Lewis had 10 tackles, Martin 11, Matthews had eight. Here's the Leach. Again, the left handed quarterback, you see him adjust his body. Right behind him was Matthews, threw it away. I tell you, Kurt, these guys, the USC secondary is not really set up to cover this slot formation. They're giving the outside receiver a lot of room. You can throw out patterns, sideline patterns for 8, 10 yards anytime you want to. Second down, 10 for Michigan on the USC 24. USC ahead 14 to 6. Bridal keeps the ball. Now that's Leach. I mean, Leach. Leach, yeah. Yeah, Leach keeps it and goes to the 13. Williams and Thurman pinch him there. Time moving against Michigan. They have their full complement of timeouts left. They did have. They now have two left. Seconds to play. They need a touchdown, and they need a two-pointer for a tie. Uh, and that pass. That is away or something. It's one of those slips. In his runners to the tall. That one slipped off the hand. That right. one wasn't even close. 209. They don't have a two-minute warning thing here at College Ball. We're no. learning anything. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I thought they had a two-minute drill. They also don't have any of your sudden victories either, Kurt. Play of the game for Michigan. Fourth and four on the SC 18-yard line. Just smothered down there by two men. It was intended for Rob Lytle, but no chance. I could have gotten in the Canadian. Had a couple drops. And a couple dropped on him. On first down. Give it off to White. White bending away to the 23 yard line. The freshman is the leading ball carrier of the game. He's carried the ball 32 times. Uh oh. Hope he's not hurt. Come on up, fella. 112 yards. They're going to take. He's upset. Uh, I think something on the clock. Now they start to wind it down. I think he's upset with the scoreboard, which is 14-6 behind him. The Rose Bowl's not been kind for him. He lost to Stanford 13-12. 14-3 didn't coach. Look at that move. They, that he had the heart attack. He made a fantastic comeback as a man, as you would consider. But open heart surgery last May. I'm moving on. 119 to stop. 25. I want to thank Joe Costanza very much and Dr. Robert Woods, Always. the Dodger team physician, for their very valuable assistance here in our booth. They'll both be back. Look at that move. After the 25. Look at that move. He's going. I think he's got to be the top player today. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a makeup. I love those kind. I'll guarantee you he did that on his own. That ball was supposed to do that. Look, he thought he was supposed to get it. Made a move to the outside. Coming back.